So in this Power World video, I bring you a complete ultimate guide on breeding the very best base working powers with said best passives. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy this video, leaving a like it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Power World, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so powers that work at your base are obviously very, very important. When it comes to them working for you, efficiency is obviously a must here. Now, there are things you can do, passives you can aim to reach, which will then make your base as efficient as it possibly can be. Now, in regards to the best working passives, work speed, work rate, whatever you want to call it, the best in this game are artisan, serious, work slave, conceited or lucky now in regards to lucky and the breeding guide it's going to be near impossible for most players to follow this because you have to go out and find that lucky pal first that shiny pal first so we're skipping lucky and we're going to work on conceited conceited only has five percent less in regards to work speed on that lucky passive so the actual difference is kind of minor so you ain't really got to worry about this so do not worry about lucky and we'll go today with artisan, work slave, serious and conceited. These are the four passives we aim to get on all of our base working pals. Okay, so where do we start? So first things first, people, we need to get ourselves these four passives of again artisan, work slave, serious and conceited. We need these between a Rayhound and a Mossander because we want to breed these together and get ourselves a Grizz Bolt with all four passives. What this means is guys, go out and catch a ton of Rayhounds, go out and catch a ton of more Sanders. Uh, and what you're looking for are these four passives. Uh, it can be two on each, can be three on one and one on the other. It doesn't matter as long as these passives are shared between these two pals of Rayhound and Mossander. And these are the only passives you want, guys. You don't want any of a random. So again, catch Rayhounds, catch those Masanders until you have these four passives between the two parents. Once that is achieved, guys, you want to breed these together until you get that Grease Bolt with all four passives of, again, Artisan, Work, Slave, Serious, and Conceited. Okay, so when you eventually get that Grease Bolt with these four passives, it's now time to start and create the best working pals in this game. And first up, guys, we have Anubis. Anubis is the only pal in this game with that level 4 in handiwork. But Anubis by himself is also one of the best base working pals in the game. And it's quite easy to actually get. Okay, so from here, guys, you want to go out and get either a Loot Moon, a Capriti, or a Lavanda. Catch either one of these three powers, guys, but make sure they have zero passives on them. So, yeah, a Loot Moon, Capriti, Lavanda. Go out and get one of these and make sure, again, it has zero passives on it. Once you have said pal, you now want to breed it with Grizzbolt. This guarantees you an Anubis. So, just breed away. Keep breeding these until you get an Anubis with these four passives on. And then you are good, guys. Okay, so next up, we want to create ourselves an Orzerk. Orzerk is the only power in the game with a level 4 in that generating electricity. So from this point, guys, the best thing you can do is go and get yourself a Relaxorus with zero passives on it. I mean, they're quite apparent on this part of the map. So let's keep taming them, keep capturing them, guys, until you get one with zero passives on it. Or if you get one with a passive on it which matches the four we already have. So either artisan, work slave, serious or conceited. That's completely fine. But yeah, get yourself that Relaxorus and then you want to breed it with that Grizzbolt. This guarantees you that baby Ozark. Breed it guys until you get all four passives on that Ozark. Okay, so next up guys, you want to get yourself an Astigon. Who is a level four in that mining. And while well, this step is quite simple. Here, guys, you breed your Grizzbolt and your Orzerk. Both of these parents having all four passives. The baby here is a guaranteed Astagon. Breed away until you have what you seek. An Astagon baby with all four of these working passives. Okay, so here, personally, if I were you, I'd get yourself a Dig Toys 2 in regards to having one of these passives. Because, in my opinion, is arguably now, after it's been buffed, one of the best farming pals in the game in regards to that mining when set up right probably even better than astagon so from here guys if you want to dig toys 
go out and get yourself a rush or these are easy to get spawn like a level three to a five uh, but make sure you get one with zero passives on it so yeah and also guys you want to make sure it's the opposite sex to your anubis so once you've caught this rush hole guys simply breed away with your noobs that we created earlier until you get that dig toys with all four passives on it it really is that simple people okay so next up we want to get ourselves a lilin who is the only pal in the game who has a level four in that gardening but also offers a level three in that medicine production as there isn't a level four in this game right now lilin is probably the best right here so here guys is a little bit of a process to do to get this lilin but it isn't hard mark my words okay so here guys you want to go out and get yourself a pangular but make sure it has zero passives on it once this is achieved breed this pangular with your grizz bolt what this does is it guarantees you a patelia who by the way isn't too far behind lilin in regards to those base work abilities but yeah breed these until you get that patelia with all four passives on it artisan serious work slave and conceited so once you've achieved this patelia guys you want to breed it with the masanda we caught earlier if you followed this guide which i think you probably did your masanda should bear no passives other than the ones we want so breed these away guys and it guarantees you a lilin but keep breeding until you get that lilin with all four passives on it okay so next up guys we want a wumpo a wumpo and a wumpo bolton actually these pals both offer a level four in that transporting but also these are the best lumbering powers in the game too as there isn't a level four lumbering power in the game but wumpo and wumpo bolton offer a level three in that lumbering so yes okay so to do this people it's actually quite easy simply breed the astagon we made earlier with that patelia we not long made this guarantees you a wumpo breed until you get that wumpo with all four passives on it so what about wumpo bolton well guys this one's quite easy too go out and get yourself a cinema make sure it has zero passives on it and then you simply guys breed that cinema with wumpo this guarantees you a wumpo bolton breed away until you get the wumpo bolton with all four passives on it okay so now guys we want the best watering pad in the game and that is german tide german tide offers a level four in that watering this one if you follow this guide is also really simple here guys just breed together either that wumpo or wumpo bottom we just created with that astagon we also created earlier this guarantees you that german tide baby so go ahead and breed it away until that german tide has all four passives on it people okay so in regards to kindling the best power in the game and the only power in the game that offers a level four is german tide ignis the problem here is guys this power is one of the few in this game which can only be bred via breeding two of the same power so in regards to trying to get all these passives onto a german tide ignis it's more or less impossible via breeding from the powers we've already created what you'd have to do here guys is i mean it's possible to do but will take you an absolute long while to do so is go out and catch both a male and female in regards to german tide ignises just breed them together and breed away until you come across these passives and let's try and group them together via further breeding it's a long ass process but it can be achieved but yes german tide ignis is the best uh kindling pal in the game the only level four kindling pal in the game but hey there are other options here so if german tide ignis is just a breeding process you don't want to take part in there is suzaku now this pal offers a level three in that kindling but the best thing about this is it's the only works used ability on offer here so it won't be distracted by doing any other task in your base now how i would go about getting the perfect passives on a suzaku is like this go out and catch one get one with as few passives on as you possibly can if you can get one with no passives on i mean it's gonna be a long shot because they ain't that common but if you can get one with a few passives on that is perfect if you catch one which has either the four passives we want anyway work slave conceited artisan or serious that's an absolute bonus for sure but i mean if you can't you still get one anyway from here guys you want to breed this with german tide we made earlier this guarantees you a suzaku aqua 
which is a great watering power by the way. But you want the Suzaku Aqua with all four of these main passives on it. So yes, keep breeding away guys until you get what you want here. Now once that's achieved, you now want to breed that Suzaku Aqua with that Suzaku we just caught. This guarantees you a normal Suzaku, but the plan here is to obviously pass on all four passives. So do what you got to do here guys. Keep breeding these two flyers until you get that Suzaku with that level 3 kindling stat. But also the four passives of again, Work Slave, Artisan, Serious and Consuited. I mean, this isn't as good as German Tide, but it's definitely the next best pal here. Okay, so in regards to cooling, uh, the only level 4 cooling pal in the game is Frost Stallion. Now, the issue with this pal is the fact it's a legendary pal. So, to breed a Frost Stallion, you need Frost Stallion parents. No other two pals in this game create a Frost Stallion. So, here, guys, your only option is to go out, capture a male and female of Frost Stallion and keep breeding them and trying to gather these passives and just breeding and trying to match them. I mean, it's just a long ass process. One, in my opinion, I don't really think it's worth it because in regards to cooling as a work suitability trait, I mean, I really don't think it's worth the hassle here. But an alternative you can use, and which is probably my favorite cooling pal in the game, is getting yourself a Foxy Cool. Now it's only a level 2 in that cooling, but it's the only work suitability trait it has. It's easy to get and it just gets straight to work on what you need it to do. Now to get a Foxical with what we've already created today isn't too hard whatsoever. There's a few options here you can do. What I'll do if I were you though is probably go out and catch a Chicopee with zero passives on it. If you breed this with that Suzaku Aqua we made earlier, this will guarantee you guys a Foxical. Or if you caught a loot moon as I suggested earlier on in the video, you can breed this guys with an Anubis. This will guarantee you that Foxicle. So yeah, do what you gotta do here guys. Okay, so the only level 4 gathering pan in the game is Frostalian Nut. Now to get a Frostalian Nut with all four of these passives on, it's probably easier than you're thinking. So here firstly guys, you wanna get yourself that perfect Hal Zephyr, which isn't too hard to achieve. So here guys, breed together the Grisbolt we made earlier with that Astagon. This guarantees you that Hal Zephyr. Or you could breed Lylian and Astagon. This also guarantees you that Hal Zephyr. Or you can breed Lylian and Ozerk. Again, this guarantees you the Hal Zephyr. So take your choice, people. But obviously you want the Hal Zephyr with all four passives on it. Work Slave, Artisan, Serious and Conceited. Now once you've achieved this, guys, you now want to continue to breed it with Frost Stallion. This guarantees you a Frost Stallion Nut. But you obviously want that Frost Stallion Nut with these four main passives on it. And once you've achieved that, guys, you now have the best base working powers in the game. But it really doesn't end there. In regards to maxing these out, in regards to what they can offer, here, you can use the Statue of Power and those Power Souls and level up that work speed, that work rate. This will obviously drastically buff them in regards to their work rate and what they can do then guys we have the condensation machine now leveling these up to a four star in the condensation machine will take and require a further 116 of the same pal so there's a lot of breeding here guys needed to fully max out these base working powers but hey if you've got the time to do it if you've got the cakes to do it you may as well do it guys because in regards to efficiency there's no better way to run a base so yes do what you gotta do here people but there we have it the ultimate breeding guide to get the best work base powers in power world guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one